Radyo Katipunan, 87.9 FM. Radyo, 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 Katipunan. showcasing the best in media and other fields as we feature the most loved personalities and the best practices of what we truly refer to as Magis. Together with multi-awarded multimedia guru, Mr. Noel Ferrer, let's all level up every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Good already, all the best. And on Level Up today, we shall talk about the 18th edition of Cinemalaya, the biggest, the most anticipated, and the most successful independent film festival in the country. Last na nga ba to? Sana hindi naman. First up, we have the festival director and the artistic direct, former artistic director of the CCP, fellow advocate in promoting the best in culture and the arts, my good friend, Citizen Chris Miliado, na hindi ako naniniwalang magre-retire. Maganda yung statement mo, Sir Chris. Walang pagre-retire sa arts and culture. Oo, no? oh, walang kapaguran sa sining at kultura. Pero pwede mag-retire sa government service. 
Tama naman yun. Tama naman yun. Patuloy lang yung ating paglikha. Sabi mo nga, create, create, create. So, um, eto, sinimalaya yung pag-uusapan natin. At maganda may kinoin kang word. Ang ganda-ganda dun sa binasa kong ano, uh, release and PR release. Hindi face-to-face. Nilagay nyo, in real life screenings. So, how hopeful are you that people will be going out of their houses and their schools and then troop to CCP as we used to? Well, hopeful kami yesterday. Pero oh, alam mo naman ngayon, kanonfirm na naman yung presence ni Monkey Pox. Ano ba yan? Oh, nga. Nakakainis oh, yung Monkey Pox ngayon. So, oh, hindi natin alam kung ano na naman impact nito sa ating mga live shows. But I guess that's reality. We That's just true. need to be flexible. We just need to go with the flow. And hopefully, it doesn't really translate and into something serious that uh, will force us again to, if not uh, lockdown, it will force again to limit our movement. No? That's, but, true. Uh, That's true. We're prepared with our safety protocols. We're prepared with all the minimum requirements for our live uh, screenings. At the and that means what, sir? So, I well, know that, before going to CCP, pakita mo yung vaccine card mo, di ba? Right. And then, yeah. of course, nandun yung mask. Yes. So, ang maganda niyan, meron tayong special Sinimalaya masks na maganda. Oh, maganda. <laughs> okay. Good yan. At least. Wear their special Sinimalaya masks. Yes. And nandun yung ating, uh, of course, meron tayong tinatawag na physical distancing. Pero ngayon, yung mga theaters natin ay 80% capacity. So, Uh, hindi pa rin tayo puno masyado. So, expect na talagang uh, pag the moment we reach 80% capacity, sarado na yung theater. Hindi na tayo tatanggap. Oh. Ng mga so, group. that means they'll be parang one seat apart? Parang ganun? May mga... May mga uh, bar- maybe hindi seats. naman. Baka group mga... Maybe may mga groups of three or five and then may yes. one seat. Yes. Uh, 20% lang of the seats are going to be blocked off. So, People are excited because yun nga, parang dalawang taon tayong nag-online na Sinimalaya. Sir, have you like discussed about the possibility of a hybrid thing? Or you went totally ang ganda nun, IRL in real life? Yes, in real life talaga to lahat. Although sabi nga natin, even during the lockdown, na hindi nga talaga mawawala yung uh, ating uh, online. So yeah. yung online natin talaga will be really utilized to even broaden the reach of Sinimalaya. So uh, after, uh, like sometime in October, uh, it will go online on an online okay. platform well, para to reach our audiences naman in the regions as well as uh, uh, o- uh, overseas. Ang ganda. So barang, a, a, a lot of first here, no? First IRL, so in real life ano, screening. Yeah. And then first... Um, Parang the probably the longest Cinemalaya because it's covering August to October. Yes, diba? actually, yung first yung tinatawag natin on-site at the CCP. Oh, oh ganda okay. naman. Okay. So on-site, on-site at the CCP, it starts from August 5 to 10. Yeah. And then it will go on a commercial run at our yeah. commercial cinemas nationwide. Ah. Hindi lang sa Manila, kundi nationwide. From August 10 to 17. Ang galing. Okay. And after that, on August 18, uh, August 19 onwards, it will go na to the regional cinemas, Ang the cinematex, and the campus cinemas as well as community screenings. Okay? Very good. Very and then good. after that, in uh, October, do na tayong mag-online. So meron tayong on-site, meron tayong off-site at the commercial cinemas, then meron tayong uh, online. At our Vimeo. That's platform. very Chris Miliano. He's very Toro. So tough <laughs> to follow as artistic director of CCP. So sir, uh, when you talk about partnerships with the theaters, um, dati kasi we were used to the, having the Ayala Cinema. So right. what have we forged? What relationships have we forged with the, with the theaters? Well, this year, uh, besides the Ayala Cinemas in Glorieta, In Trinoma, Manila Bay, pati yun kasi dumami rin with Ayala Galing, Cinema. Galing, yes. So we're going also out to Bacolod, doon sa Capital Very Central good. in Bacolod. And in CDO, Cagayan de Oro, sa Centrio. Oh, oh. Okay? okay. So this year. And exciting, this year, for the first time, we're going to partner with SM Cinemas. So oh, Cinemalaya will also be seen in Mega Mall. 
And then mm. all the way up north in Baguio, in Very good. Clark, Das Marinas, and Legaspi. Very good. Very good. So the reach is, well, at least, no, despite the situation, parang gagawa talaga ng paraan, no? Na, na mapaabot natin to a larger crowd yung Cinemalaya. Sir, assessment yes. lang of the past two years. How has it been? It was, uh, uh, it was, of course, obviously very challenging. As you know, nag-pivot tayo. And then, uh, remember, uh, because of the uh, regulations and strict protocols, yes. hindi pa matuloy yung shooting ng ating yes. mga uh, full-length uh, films. So, yes. practically, na- nakaipon tayo. Nang 20 mm-hmm. films and content that needed to be produced. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, 11 out of 20 survived. Okay. Well, that's so understandable. That's this year, no? Yeah. But the laudable thing is the one who saved and rescued Cinemalaya were the short films. Wow, very good. Yes, for the last two years, the short the short films were the ones that were on the platform. They were immediately embraced by our audiences. Mm-hmm. And they got the splat, spotlight which they so deserved because they are an art uh, 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 form yeah. all by themselves with, the, with their specific characteristics. So we got spotlight. So we're very thankful talaga to our short filmmakers um, for the last two years. because. Then, we, no? For the content of our, ano, of our... Nakakilabot din, sir, kasi parang full circle din. Kasi you started cinema la, yun na short films din lang muna, di ba? No, no, na... we started talaga full length. But, A full length. But the Gawad Alternativo, which... Ayun, we, very good, very uh, good. Prototype for cinema la, yeah? Well, it's really short. I... I want I was going there because a, a major part of the cinema laya parang well ano pa tawag doon um yung precursor yun na tawag doon um yes, the pre- cinema laya was was really the gawad ccp yung gaw, yung short film no uh, parang the short film, no. Right? no can you talk about it sir because it's a ccp project really di ba Yes, the God Alternativo is considered one of the longest short film festivals not only in the Philippines That's but in Asia true. in yeah. Asia and a lot of our indie films, uh, indie filmmakers today who have joined Cinemalaya and even like as far as Sina Raymond Red and oh. everyone else started with Gawad Alternativo with their short ah, experimental yeah. films. So, um, yeah. ang ano talaga siya, what we call the green, the greenhouse, the nurturing yes, platform yes. for our current crop of filmmakers. So, up to today, it continues to be the platform for our emerging and entry level na mga estudyante yeah. would like to double and yeah. start, uh, to tell their stories in short films. So it attracts its uh, own audiences and actually it's a, a, a great way of uh, drawing um, the next generation, not only filmmakers, but the next generation of audiences to yeah. cinema. Yeah. So it has a short feature, narrative, experimental, documentary, animation. So it's quite progressive because that, eh, di ba? Parang isang isang genre lang. Pero you're opening, you you opened it to really, no? Ah, uh, various genres, dun sa alternatibang pelikula at video. So may sarili siyang takbo, may sarili siyang buhay para dal sa cinema laya, no? Correct, but it yes. is under the right now. It is screening well, with the cinema laya because we do realize the power of that kind yeah. of collaboration. Yeah. Dahil in the first place, nan, nandun yung ano mo eh, nandun yung uh, next gen mo eh. Galing. And then you need not, you, ang exposure dapat nila, then makita din nila where they, where their careers could lead. No? If, if, they, if, they, if they, when they see the bigger picture of Cinemalaya. Ang ganda. Kasi parang ngayon kita mo yung holistic, the big picture, no? The holistic yes. na, na, na view. Tapos on, may sarili rin siyang awarding. Correct. Diba? Of yes. August 13, no? a day yes. prior the Cinemalaya closing ceremonies and awarding also. That's right. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So parang, sir, yun yung tanong ko sa inyo, how can that comprehensive tahi ng lahat-lahat survive given the scenario sa bagong CCP? Kaya yung isa kong kicker dito sa, sa, sa episode na to, Oh, will this be the last Cinemalaya? Yung nakaka- Sada, hindi naman. You know what? Um, interestingly, if you look back, even during the martial law years, mm-hmm. film has even survived without censorship because of the that's Manila true. Film Center, the experimental cinema. And that's, that's how true. CCP actually acquired its parang, uh, parang status na, na, na freedom of expression. 
So yeah. anything that, that's yeah. that's shown there uh, is not censored, which includes film, yeah. which includes per, uh, performing arts, and I believe uh, this will be sustained all throughout. Well, you know, otherwise, good. you know, this administration might be going back on its own historical DNA as it as that's it were. That's true. You know, they because they were, that, no? yeah. because they were the ones who established this freedom of expression, especially in film in the performing arts. Eh? Yes, yes, so, yes. So maganda, maganda nga na ayun, may ganitong structure. Diyan natin abangan ng mga tao kung matutuloy itutuloy o hindi. If not, if not, if it's not through government, you think the relationship with the private sector will make it like um stay Sinimalaya to like be sustained? Um what right now I think it is in Sinimalaya is in great need talaga to uh be uh, uh to forge partnerships not yeah. only with the private sector but also with the LGU, local government Very units. Very good. Remember yung core strength ng Sinimalaya throughout the years is that even in its core, in its essence, it's a collaboration of a private corporation called the Sinimalaya Foundation so, and a government agency called the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Equals yeah, naging Sinimalaya. And, and it is no? the cooperation of the two that made it very strong. Now for it, I think to survive through the years, this kind of model should be, uh, should be broadened, should even be expanded. You know? Pero sir, yun na nga, kailangan pareho yung vision. Kasi maganda lang na nag, nag, nag-match nag talaga yung vision ng Sinimalaya Foundation at ng CCP. Mm-hmm. Di ba? So, so uh, maganda yung collaboration and the partnership that you're saying. Yes. Is. And I think it's 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 about it's about uh, when you say expand the vision, it's about sharing this vision and, and sort of pitching and selling this vision to our LGUs or locations which might be ready to have this kind of collaboration. Very yes. good, very and good. I think we've hit one. And I cannot ah, tell you ah. na, we will make an announcement much later. Yes, very good. And in fact, baka sooner than later, magkakaroon ng full uh, Sinimalaya uh, festival na parang region production within Very the good. Year. Very good. Kasi sir, ito, pag malaki natin yung mga entries, kasi... While we were there at your press con and when you talk, mm. pinagmalaki mo na marami sa mga entries. I got uh, represented yung Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Di ba yes. parang, parang nakakakilabat lang na, uy, hindi naman nila centric talaga yung Sinemalaya. Or it has never been naman. Pero at least ngayon, merong tuon may representation sa bawat region. So, pag malaki nyo, sir, yung mga entries sa, sa full length, sige, go. Ano yung, ano yung dapat abangan sa full-length entries? And you were saying nga, parang at least parang represented lahat ng rehiyon or halos yung major regions ng ating bansa. Well, as I said, we have uh, the uh, 11 uh, full-length uh, films. And then at least two of these films were shot. Uh, no, three of these films were shot outside of Manila and use uh, languages of the region. Yeah. I know one is in Ilongo. Uh, mm-hmm. I think one yeah, has uses uh, Bicolano and so on, mm-hmm. no. And mm-hmm. uh, sa, sa short uh, film na sa short films natin, out of the twelve short films, dalawa lang ang metro based. Yung Very sampu good. were region based and using Very the language good. and the setting of the region. So it's mm-hmm. it's it's it would be very interesting and and uh, to see. Uh, yung specific qualities of storytelling they're brought about by these filmmakers whose voices have been defined by their specific realities in the region. And this is, I think, uh, if if we are ever to claim how national cinema looks like, I yeah. think it is national cinema. Ang galing nga. Pada, so we've covered everything there. And then what's the hope there? Na, tama nga, no? In the regions, in the particular regions, they have many cinemalayas. Ganun ba yung, yung, yung pwedeng gawin? Or... Well, the thing is, it could be simultaneous na. Like for example, oh. it is now easy to imagine na, okay, let's open Cinemalaya in Manila. And then the awarding ceremonies will be in Dapitan, for example. Yes. Diba? Yes. yes yung parang yeah, ganon. Yeah. So, you know, pero sabay-sabay, lumalabas yung Simalaya all over the country. And next year, iba naman. Na town. So, That's you know, true. Simalaya becomes all over the country na. Diba parang kung may palarong pambansa sa sports, it should be Simalaya. Yes. Cinemalaya. And yeah, it could be know. it could be like my hosting cities ka. Oh, kami naman mag-host ng awarding or opening next That's year, di ba? That's true. Because That's you can true. see na Cinemalaya in all the cinemas. It's everywhere. 
at yung pagtatalaban ng gobyerno nga at saka private sector. Important. At important. Oh, 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 And oh. schools. How important are the schools? Oh, in definitely. The, the schools. Because you know, yeah. um, uh, yung mas kitingnan mo naman yung audience natin dito sa CCP, um, yeah. it, it, we grew the audiences. They started as the yeah. students and they started to uh, love and embrace the content of Sinimalaya. But It is should be a continuing responsibility of of conducting film appreciation to schools and students so they know that they know they have an alternative uh, viewing experience. Kasi syempre, what they get are the the, the what they immediately see online, no? on Netflix, yes. on uh, the platforms, on the commercial cinemas. Now, syempre, wala tayong kalaban-laban because ang taas ng mga marketing budgets ng mga yan. That's so, true. this is where film appreciation comes in. This is where our filmmakers na talagang mano-mano come in in terms of promoting their films and and talking to students and the next generation. This is where our teachers come in. Galing, you know, no? Parang, the value of ano, film. Parang we always look forward to Cinemalaya at the CCP kasi parang may mini hubs na may yes. discussion groups yung mga tao after watching a film kasi may hinga eh may, may break ka bago ka pumunta sa susunod na pelikula so sana it happens this year also even if yung face-to-face classes are really so limited also no so well at least that the whole vibe at the CCP sir how about the talkbacks will you have the talkbacks too the yes uh, conversations this, uh, with the film ngayon yeah kasi remember uh, this year wala tayong exhibition films so Ay. all the screenings will be dedicated to the competition films and talagang may focus tayo doon sa uh, uh, filmmakers and competition except for our closing and opening opening and closing films okay. no okay. and the reason for this is uh, i think our filmmakers deserve it after naman two years of being in hibernation and Very trying good. to endure the whole uh, lockdown we thought uh, they deserve this kind of attention Uh, so, but the talk box uh, will happen uh, immediately after w- the first screening of the ano. So the next day, the next screening of the of of the titles. Nagtayo tayo, magtatayo tayo ng special na venue sa CCP. A oh. tent. Kung matutuloy yung tent na yon, kung saan magal mangyari yung talk box talaga. Ang And it's going to be like a. Uh, a highlight of in itself yung talk box Angaling. so it's not just parang di ba yung open forum after the film it will be parang one no, whole no. lecture parang ganun or forum no yeah yeah it's talagang separate But, na, na session so meron kang quality time with the filmmakers uh, yes. conversation with their audiences yeah ang galing that's what we want the education component will that be streamed sir uh, i- i- uh tricky question uh We might not stream the whole thing. Yeah. We will only stream yes. parts of it. No? Yes. Why? Dahil pag ni-stream mo, hindi na sila pupunta sa live. I agree. I agree. I agree. So, tama yun. Tama yun. Yun parang ako, or it's a stream mo lang siya kung puno na yung, yung theater. Ay, kung puno na yung venue, di ba? So, tama naman yun. How about seminars, sir? Will there be seminars, parallel seminars? Because we uh, no, there will be no, the, no There will be no full-blown seminars this year, but there will be panels. So, we'll have oh. panels on producing. So, ikaw, baka ikaw yung next producer ng Sinimalaya. So, yes. baka you could like come in in, con, con, in in conversation, parang introducing the idea of producing and we and uh, we have asked our esteemed jurors to also hold their panels kasi alam mo yung isa nating jury member ay siya yung director ng Indushin, the French director of Indushin. Oh, so, he's coming in and uh, he's going to talk about uh, his work. Uh, we're going to have uh, people like Alem, Alemberg Ang, yes. who knows, who's one of our leading independent producers, yes. basically to break the myth about what a producer is. No? Kasi, Very good. Uh, you know, basically, parang, sasab- parang sinasabi na, ah, ko producer ka, kailangan marami ka palang pera, pero hindi, hindi naman pala ganoon. No? So, you know, okay. it begins to introduce that. Yeah. So, and many other uh, items, mga four or five uh, forums siguro. Maganda yan, them. sir. So that will take the place of, I know, yung pitching, the pitching sessions, or meron yes, pa, may ganun pa rin. Uh, we, uh, na yun. Yung pitching, wala muna this year. Oo, uh, oo. Uh, But here I'm I'm I know I'm also excited because I confirmed a major star the young superstar to read for Ricky Lee's book launch. 
Oo, oh, so, oh, ayan. Yeah. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh, hindi so, ko alam yan, ha? Sino yan? <laughs> Mamaya, isa sabihin ko sa'yo. Kasi nirequest siya na siya yung bumasa ng himala ng ah, monologue. Okay. Kasi ba diba, kahit sinong babasa ng walang himala na national artist yung level mo, matatakot, di ba? Or ibabash. Baka ibabash kung hindi magaling. Well, yun yung news namin. O may, may, may sinabi tayong bago ngayon. Okay, Amin, so, star, but, but since you mentioned book launch, uh, yes. great news, uh, newest book na uh, screenplays niya, Brutal, yeah. Moral, Karnal, will be launched. At the same time, may dalawa pang books na ilo-launch, no? Yes. Yung ang daigdig ng mga api ni ni Doy del Mundo, which Very is good. a book about a lost, uh, a forgotten uh, classic. Then yung alternative cinema, the unchronicled history of uh, cinema in the Philippines ni Nick de Ocampo. Oh. And there's a fourth one. What? Galing. The Cinemalaya Book 15th Anniversary. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 launch ano. natin okay. ng pandemic pero hindi tayo nagkaroon ng live launch. So it will Correct. be in a live launch. natin kay, oh. ano, kay Doy Del Mundo yan at sa yes. group na gumawa. Oh. So, well, it can be our reunion also because it may, yes. sabi ko nga, it may be the last pero hindi, last sa CCP kung, kung hindi matut... Kasi nga, yung the reality is baka mag-renovate yung CCP next year. Di yun, ba, yun din, yung venue. Oo, oh, oh. so, so that's why we're also anticipating that. no? Oh, so a lot of activities happening there. Oh, well, ganun naman yung vibe ng Cinema Live. Will there be food? Of <laughs> course. Food yes, in fact, yeah. um, we are putting up a separate uh, food tent for talagang for our locators. Very good. Para, Very mas, good. para mas comfortable naman tayo kasi alam natin pag Cinema Live, lagi tayong inuulan, di ba? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kasi yan yung typhoon season. Given yeah, yeah, yeah. na yan sa cinema na yan. Thank you for making it very, very convenient for all of us. So, parang sir, parang ito yung yung pagkasabik natin sa cinema laya after two years. Parang dito natin ibubuhos. Pero parang ngayon, at this point, ano pang learnings natin of the past? Yung medyo in apply natin ngayon or parang yun looking back at our learning sa past cinema laya have we really parang gone to basics or, or or yung needs ng mga filmmakers have we met them to lumaki ba or in, kasi hindi tayo sa lot sa mga sa mga well themes and and, and stories to tell yes. pero ngayon talaga kasi dahil sa mahirap yung paggawa ng pelikula we mean more kind and understanding and lenient ano po yung ano pa yung um, ganong mga reflections well, yung... the ano the the continuing challenge which continues to be some kind of 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 uh, issue that uh, we still continue to look for a solution is financing that's true that's kasi true. you know uh, it's one thing to have a dream but to yeah. finance that dream magkano lang naman binibigay ng sining malaya 1 million no, na subsidy. Yeah. But you know, you end up making a film na kung minsan umaabot ka na ng 5 million. So kung ikaw yung beginning That's ano, true. beginning filmmaker, saan mo kukunin yun? That's true. And the sustainability no? of the festival. No? Yes. Sir? Kasi the, a festival can can be sustained if the films are made. That's true. That's kung wala true. kang films na ilalagay doon, wala. Yun ang mm. sustain sa mm. festival. Eh. Yung iyong content. Pero yeah. pag wala, pag hindi mo na nagawa na yung mga content natin, anong pa anong anong ano anong rational ng festival, di ba? Kasi the festival true. madaling gawin 'yun eh. Pero anong yeah. ipapalabas mo? 'Yun yung importante. Yeah. yeah. So kailangan ma-address yung finally, ano ba talaga ang best uh, business model for indie filmmakers? Paano may uh, paano kaya magkakaroon ng financing na hindi lagi from na parang uh, naghihikahos ka kundi baka okay. po yung, uh, may paraan ba yan na may mga films na na in development na pwede na yung i-finance para al- yes. part hindi na lang yung malaya then yes. uh, uh, yung ganon and so on and so forth so ngayon uh, we're looking yan. at this kasi umi- umiba na rin yung industriya no? umi- um- nag- there's changes in the environment. So we really need to be adaptive then to the environment. How about the, the coming in of the big players, the mainstream, but even now, kasi parang dahil nasara rin yung mga sinihan, sila rin nagsasuffer ng setbacks, no? Like kung yari, the Vivas, the Regals, the Star Cinemas, financing films for Cinemalaya. 
well, ako medyo na blur kasi my next question to you is what makes a Cinemalaya film? Kailan mo sasabing tatak Cinemalaya yung pelikula? Gano na iiba yan sa kunyari, Metro Manila Film Fest entries ng Star Cinema ng Viva at ng ng Regal. Well, the, or, uh, or ng iba back, pang indie festivals, no? Yeah. Well, you go back to the the original impetus that created Cinemalaya which is the voice of the filmmaker. Yeah, so it's, it's really yung nangingibabaw and I think that's what makes it different. That's why I think sometimes we draw the line about co-productions with commercial and big, correct, big correct. companies dahil uh, hindi siya market-driven. It correct, is really correct. driven by the vision of the filmmaker. That's why we're saying new breed ito. Vision ito ng director. Vision ito ng writer. Yun ang popondohan natin. Yun ang popursigihin natin. No, at hindi... market, pag sinabi mong hindi market driven kaya ngayon sasabihin kaya kayo ko ikaos exactly. <laughs> exactly but you see you can reshape the market eh. that's true diba? that's true. you know that's tayo nagko-control ng content now if si that's producer true. will say bakit bakit noon sa golden age of cinema bakit nagkaroon tayo ng Maynila sa mga ko ng liwanag that yeah, was not magkaroon nagkaroon tayo ng insyang and they made well They didn't made a lot. They didn't made obscene yeah. profit. But enough. Okay, enough. You yeah. know? Yeah. So, well, diba? so uh, it could be done. And and I think, of course, this is where government needs to kick in. That's true. That's Kasi, true. So, kailangan you know, talaga yun. No? Oo, kailangan pumasok si gobyerno and say, oh, ito. Um, grabe ito. Na, yung, yung ginagawa nyo is really for the patrimony of the nation. Oh. Mm-hmm. Let's invest in that. Kasi the more content and the more um, uh, creativity that comes from this, the more na, na, na solidify yung identity natin, not only to ourselves, but to the rest of the world. That's very good. But does that mean, kunyari, a senator sponsoring um, Cinema Laya? At a certain point, we, you, you were, well, we were talking to Lauren Lagarda, di ba? Or well, she was claiming that she's helped Cinema Laya in a way Will that be the way of government? But they've like, already done it. Funds? They've yeah. already done it. In yeah. fact, that's the reason why we've continued since nine, okay, number, since the 10th edition of Cinemalaya when oh. Tony Boy Kuangko said uh, uh, he has to reduce his ano, to uh, Cinemalaya. Yeah. So we yeah. approach government. We approach the senators and they uh earmark 25 million every year just for Cinemalaya and that was through the effort of Senator uh Loren Legarda, Senator Angara oh, and others. Good. Yeah, that's so, good. so na yun. does that stay sir like pandemic yes, or, yes. Or, or so hindi naka, hindi nakakalimutan yon they will still yes. subsidize this one okay yes. yeah yeah but with more people more artistas in congress so, and in in the senate do you think Um, kung kailangan naman ng Cinemalaya yan, parang they will be there to like, um, well, at least no, salvage, hindi man salvage, but help the organization. Or well, the I know for a fact that uh, uh, what's his name? Robin Padilla, yeah. sen- the senator, uh, even before he ran for office, was already like uh, uh, advocating very, for very uh, in, uh, no, in the industry. And we have other artistas there, like, uh, of course, he's in local government, si Yul Servo, no? yeah. he was uh, vice mayor of Manila, yeah. who would be able to help naman for, as an LGU. Uh, That's very good. And then you have many other artists, and I think there, there are more artistas in Congress now than ever. So I yeah. hope, no, the, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, it's in their blood, eh? they know how it very is. Very good. Very so good. Uh, hopefully it translates. If If there's any good that might come out from having artistas in Congress, I yes. think it could be it. <laughs> Yun yung opportunity, no? Okay. Serve yeah. naman the industry that catapulted you to power. Di ba? Parang yeah. yun yun. Yeah. Eh. And no, babalik ako dun sa question, sir. So, you've, you've very clearly identified what a Cinemalaya film is vis-a-vis a commercial film for the Metro Manila Film Fest. But what about the other film fest? Like, kunyari, the Q Cinema, the, kasi marami rin indie festivals na naglabasa, no? Right. Um, the Cinemalaya stick to yung parang new breed. New breed meaning first three films. Ganun pa rin yes, ba, sir? That's correct. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. 
kasi lagi lagi tayong babalik doon sa nat- naturalesa natin di ba mm-hmm. so yun yung ano parang cinema life should always go back to its core na it should be the first three one of the first three films of the ano, yes yes of our and and, and uh, we welcome the fact na maraming lumabas na indie film festivals after cinema because you know yes. uh, how many what can watch your uh, uh, the yes. festival although it has an excitement the more festivals there are out there the more opportunities there are for filmmakers to to exhibit their films and for audiences to be exposed to as much of this content as possible and then humahaba yung shelf life ng mga films dahil no they, they begin to jump from one festival to the other You know, Ang galing so, no? Kasi may nagkaroon ng Subic Film Festival. Yeah. So it creates a very healthy ecosystem as it were for mm-hmm. our indie films. Now otherwise, they won't have because they won't, they don't have naman the, act, the, the uh, commercial access to the cinemas. Eh. That's so the true. festivals become their platform. So yung katotohanan, sir, we never run out of content. May, ta- may content tayo. Ang kulang na lang talaga venue. Or yes. the, the papalabasan yes. yes. ngayon. Yes. And thank you for Cinema Laya. Yes. And like, for example, I'm, I'm, you've been to Busan. The Busan. Yes. Festival. Yes. I mean, they built a whole complex of so many cinemas and workshops and rooms and exhibit halls just specifically for their films. And I think we and deserve then, one. You know, and it's a government. Do, it's a government initiative, no? Yes, and 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 I think we deserve one. With so many years now, we've done very well. We've we've put uh, the true. Filipino filmmaker on the map because of our internationally awarded filmmakers and content. We deserve yeah. one. The eyes, are, the eyes of the world have been looking at what's happening to our Philippine cinema, but parang exactly. they don't have anywhere to go to venue wise. At the same time. When some when a film wins abroad, parang we don't have a venue to to celebrate uh, That's true. the winners. So can you imagine if we had our own film complex like the Busan? Yeah, yeah. Grabe yeah. yung pride and the grabe yung magigenerate natin na continuous uh, interest. Pero na excited ako dun sa sinabi mong regions papunta kasi sa Busan, di ba? May beach malapit dun sa actual exactly. site. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so maraming pa. So, Maraming mga cities dyan na resort cities na babaga yung gano'n. Yes, oh. yes. Kasi dolomite yung mapupuntahan pagkatapos ng CCP, mm. di ba? Oh. Oh, so, so, yun yung pwede. So, ang, well, boast about your opening and closing films, um, sir. Kasi talagang inilabutan ako nung in-announce. So, kasi kala namin we'll never have the chance to watch these films, di ba? The Sundance oh. Special Jury Awardee, Leonor, will not die. Never will, die. Will, will never will, die. Will never die. So yeah, and what is okay. our criteria in 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 having those? Well, uh, usually we vet it, no? We we keep yeah. our ear close to the ground many months before the opening to mm. uh, vet a film that will engage with the vision of Cinemalaya and what is it? Mm. Your original voices, mm. the voices and and of course, technically it should ha- it shouldn't have premiered a- anywhere in the Philippines. It should have its mm. Philippine premiere with us. So Linor will never die. Uh, has uh, may may ano yan eh, uh, relationship yan dahil si 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 uh, the filmmaker si Martika is also yeah. a Cinemalaya filmmaker. Oh, very good. Okay. And si so, Monster, si Monster Jimenez and Mario Cornejo. Yes, also y- may may iba may, ha, yung unang-unang pelikula nila nandoon so, sa Cinemalaya rin yeah. So we we saw it and then the the the, the film is almost a meta narrative then about filmmaking so yeah. it was a great theme for debates about a previous action films of 70s and 80s direct, yeah. film director <laughs> so you know at the same time uh, isa pang magandang ano diyan because Sheila the the yes. lead actress ang ang ano niyan ang roots niyan is performing arts Yes. So yes, you know what yes. is CCP? CCP hosting Cinemalaya is a fusion of the cinematic arts and the performing arts. Can you so, say but, it again? Because she's here. She's logged in now. Sheila, your pink tribute to Sheila from the pink. Hello. Hello. <laughs> a star, cinema star, and star of film and stage. Diba? Parang the grand dame of Philippine theater. Diba? Yun yung tawag sa kanya. And now, she never thought she'd star. First film. First film, Chris. First ever. First film. 
<laughs> so I was so, saying, I was saying she likes it. The, the choice was great because you know, isang characteristic nito is you coming from the performing arts and then in a in a in the film and then at the CCP which is showing Cinemalaya. So perfect, di ba? Unbelievable, talaga. I I can't wrap my brains around it. Parang sobra nato. <laughs> so because ko kasi na ko kasi when we shot the film, tapos syempre are ang pangarap lang naman namin eh makakaroon kami ng commercial release, di ba? Yeah. So, 2019 yun, to 2020, sana maka-commercial release kami. Naturalmente, walang nangyari. Nagka-pandemia. Yes. Tapos bigla kaming napasok sa Sundance. Yeah. Pati, eh. Tapos yeah. ngayon, sabi ko, kailan, kailan ko kaya makikita sa Pilipinas? Kasi, you know, we, we've already had showings kung saan-saan, napunta pa kong Italy for that. Pero nung nalaman ko si CCP, halos may yak ako. I had never, never thought. <laughs> never. Class, ko, no? Ay, nako. Such an honor. Thank you so much, Chris. Sobra. Thank you to Cinemalaya. Iba for, kasi parang you being recognized by your own country. Iba rin yun. Iba yun. Iba yeah. yun. Iba yeah. yun. Yeah. Sheila, why did it take you so long to make a film? I've been like, I've been telling her, <laughs> Sheila, ano ba? Parang, yun, masaya na ako sa theater. Ganun ba naman ang sagot sa akin, Chris? Nung una. Ito ba talaga alam? I mean, isipin mo na lang, sino, sa age ko to sino mag-iisip na ah, gagawa ako ng ano action movie pero gusto ko matandang babae gusto ko you know mature na babae na action <laughs> film ah, wala namang sa yun? age yun. <laughs> it was uh, you know it was just something that uh, was dropped into my lap and I said hey it's interesting I like the concept yeah let's do it alam mo yun ganun yeah, lang kasi simple very good very good. She so Chris talked about well how our our films have won awards and given honors mm-hmm. to our country, no? Talk about the Sundance experience Sheila or uh-huh. or the International Film Fest ano exposure. Yeah. Kasi yan well, yung oh, dapat dalhin nating experience sa mga kababayan natin dito. Oo, oh, 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 sana magawa natin yung dito. Iba rin siya talaga eh. Uh, well, obviously yung sa Sundance parang parang nagulat na lang kami na bigla kaming pumasok and and the may talk back talk back din ba kayo kasi doon din nagawa ng cinema live may ganoon ng ganoon nagkaroon yeah. kami ganoon a couple of ano actually a couple of interviews very uh, good after the 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 premiere there were you know people who uh, we had a zoom meeting they they yes. they uh, oh, they created the zoom meet for us yeah, and yeah. the audience, kanyan. So it was really, it was my first time. Mahala, an, uh, what Ayan do na. I don't know. Virgin but, talaga, virgin sa virgin, cinema. Virgin, virgin Chris, na virgin ako. Can you tell, can you tell Sheila what will happen in the opening, Ayan, or the opening yeah. ceremony? <laughs> Kasi hindi rin niya alam anong mangyayari. So, uh, uh, then, no, no, no. At si Bianca Gonzalez confirmed, sabi niya, she will drop everything sa opening ceremony. That will be next Friday already, it August is. 5. So, ang unang mangyayari dyan ay tatawagin Sheila on stage tapos papakantahin siya. Ah, wala yun! Kaya sa tagano na! So, walk her through anong mangyayari? Kasi meron pang presentation ng mga entries. Yeah. Diba? Uh, and and uh, usually, our ceremonies, uh, our opening ceremonies, ang mangyayari dyan, meron tayong tinatawag na parang pre-show. No? Uh, yes. as, parang uh, noon tawag natin eyeball doon sa main theater lobby. Yeah. That's where we present all of the filmmakers' competition uh-huh. and their uh, performers. Parang ito yung version natin ng red carpet, no? Yeah. Oh, pero yeah. the yeah. indie version of the red yeah. carpet. No? So, yeah. uh, this is the time na parang uh, we've redefined kasi the media. Sabi natin, sabi namin, Ngayon ang media, hindi na lang yung media na may hawak ng camera, but everyone who, who has a cell phone is a media person. That's true. So That's parang true. ginawa nating paparazzi na lahat. O oh, siya. Oh, lahat. Yeah. Pag- yeah. Oh, lahat yeah. na. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 yeah. good. So merong mag, may ganong kasiyahan doon sa ano. And sa lobby. Sa lobby. And we're preparing something special. May surprises din kaming prepare It's going Sorry. to be directed by Dex, Dexter. 
Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> At oh, least. God. Yeah, so the director ni Sheila sa muling album. Ah, exciting, exciting. And then it it's it's brought in inside of course into the theater na andun yung regular usual speeches natin. At saka may special presentation, at saka may special pakulo din sa loob before the presentation of our opening film, which is Leonor Will Never Die. Yon. So, tell Sheila that she doesn't have to be in gown kasi ang dress code sa CCP ay in the chic. Okay, oh, can you, chic. Can, <laughs> can, can you, can you now Uh-oh. tell them what in, what in the chic means? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Huh? So, Yung ano hindi chic niyan is ano lang, kung ano-anong tela-tela na makuha mo dyan sa bahay mo, kortina, gano'n. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Balot ba, balot mo lang. Good, good, good. <laughs> but, but it's very relaxed, no? And parang napaka, well, it's a really good film community that that's very supportive, no? Of, of, of yeah, people. It's, it's, it's quite quirky. Some people come in their, uh, filmmakers prefer to like come in their everyday clothes. Biglang makita mo si filmmaker na kat, everyday clothes kasama niya yung artist siya yan naka full gown okay lang oh, okay, oh, okay lang oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. So, parang ganun siya it's really quite a yes uh-huh. exciting but, exciting. but once in a will the, the, the director di ba talk and the, the the producer of the opening film talk oo rin naman di ba yes of course you know, uh, they're the right. ones who usually like, introduce their film and introduce their uh-huh. cast and their crew before the screening Okay, ang pet peeve ko, Sheila, huwag ka magdadala ng bag sa stage. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi yun yung mga tao, pag iniintay ka, dala ka ng bag at payong, di ba? Masasawayin kita, Sheila. I like no? that. I like that. <laughs> oh, now, anyway. <laughs> Yan, ako, first time ko mag-a-attend dito, actually, so... So para like, yon. Oh, maganda, maganda. Para ang I'm looking forward to it talaga. Excited. Very good. Now, now Chris, can you excite us more? What else do we look forward to to this cinema laya? Well, since my opening film tayo, meron tayong closing film. Sige. And well, ako, well mamaya pa si the second hour pa pet. I like yeah. Kara Magsanok Alikpala to like join us already to excite people with her. Nako ito naman kaya. Wala naman kayang gunman na makakapasok sa CCP pag pinalabas ang delikado. Huwag naman. Huwag oh, naman. naman, di ba? Oh, Hindi pwede. Tara. Huwag naman. Tara, i-on mo na yung camera kasi nakaka- title pa lang ng pelikula nila, Delikado, I di ba? Know. In so, fact, yun. that's why natakot ako sa sinabi mo dahil yung opening film, yung opening scenes pa lang ng Delikado, ganun na. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan na. So kailangan anyway, as I was exactly. saying the closing film this year is serendipitous talaga dahil we don't only have one but two closing films this time. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because we thought these two films we chose are very strong uh, signals of where Cinemalaya is leading. Yes. Starting next year we are going to open a uh, competition uh, oh. category which is documentary. Yes. Yes. So I think these two titles are very good examples of document of 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 way documentary is made in this uh, the same spirit, no? A very like uh, strong independent voice. So that is why delicado uh, for the very delicate uh, uh, way the, uh, their choice of uh, issue and uh, theme and the subject matter that they chose, and mm-hmm. even. Very precarious the way they did their filmmaking. <laughs> I know. We'll talk about it later. But Kara, Kara, can you tell? Uh, yeah, go. The second film and is the second what? film is uh, we don't dance for nothing, which is very experimental. Na, na rin, na, uh, 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 no, it's it's a parang a documentary feature. It combines the styles of documentary and feature film. But looking uh, at uh, the plight of. Uh, Filipino overseas Filipino workers caught during the pro-democracy riots in Hong Kong. Oh dear! So and and interestingly, uh, and and how they use dance, you know, zumba zumba as a way of coping oh, oh, oh. with everything. Wow! So oh, and it uses the parang uh, the ano tawag jan ano tawag jan the mix styles of storytelling ni Wong Kar Wai parang ganon yung Kanyang ah, so very okay. so, ipang iba yung yung uh, approach to documentary filmmaking which you thought would be great way of uh, of announcing 
you know, to our audiences what to expect for next year. A, a, a category, a separate category for documentaries. And well, well, we have to clarify, no, the opening and the closing films are for free, no? No, only the opening film. Only the opening film. Yeah, the closing ah, film okay. Ticketed. Well, kasi ako naman, I was able to get na my festival pass, 2005 na festival pass. <laughs> Kuha na ho kayo, that's the best thing. But Kara, since you're there na, we'll have another another round of interviews for your film na delikado nga. But um, you were also commenting on Sheila's film na, na, kasama, ng, na kasama yung ano, pinsan mo, di ba? Si, yeah. si Martin, no? And, and parang sabi mo, it was such an honor to be in Cinema Life. Pero hindi ba natakakatakot din that finally the Filipino audience was watching? <laughs> Wait, first of all, good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon, Sheila. I'm such a big fan. My cousin produced your film. Um, so I watched it online for Sundance. Grabe na in love ako sa'yo. You should make Oy. more films. Parang sa love it. national treasure. My goodness. Ang tapos. Thank you. That's so kind. And salamat, Chris, na naimbita kami sa Cinemalaya. It's always a thrill and an honor to be part of Cinemalaya. Excited na talaga kami. But Kara, pagka, ano yung feeling na nung nalaman nyo na okay, fine, hindi, hindi nyo naman yan sinadmit, no? hindi nyo akalain na mapipili or talagang paano ba? How was the process? Nalaman ko na lang sa press con. <laughs> 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 May nagbalita sa akin. I'm like, ha? Talaga? Totoo ba yun? So I didn't announce it until I talked to someone from Cinemalaya, from CCPC, Tita Vicky Bellarmino. Yes, Vicky. Uh, barkada ng lahat. Sa tita Vicky, may chismis daw na ganyan-ganyan. So sabi niya, oh, you wait for the online um, press, uh, you know, press con. So pinanood ko, I heard it from myself. I was so thrilled. At ang nag-announce, ay si Chris Miliado, di ba? <laughs> Ako, nakinamahan ako kasi I knew the film because of my, well, batchmate na si Bobby Chan who we'll have later. So, Kara, how do you think the Filipino audience will like, um, ano, uh, well, absorb or try to like react to your film? Nako, hindi ko rin alam. Hindi ko talaga masasabi. But, um, I just hope they will become responsive and do what they can in their own way to respond to the issues that we'll raise in the, in the film. That's Kasi true. Even, the issues are big, you know, environmental, you know, land defenders. But you don't have to think that big. You can respond in your own personal way just through conscious living. You know, galing, galing, galing galing no. we always want to bring it down to what's doable galing for no. every single person watching. Oh. Sir Chris, paano yun? Will they have a talk back after the opening and closing films? Baka, baka kailangan. Um, I, I I know lahat ng films merong talkbacks, eh. so uh, that that is that is a standard for all the films. So with that, uh, I really like to invite everyone, no, to uh, please yes. uh, attend Cinemalaya. I'm sorry, I really need to. No problem, no problem, no problem. Go because I have to travel. I'm 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 uh, not at the CCP, but I. Hindi I have to retired. <laughs> Hindi husa retired. Parami sa ginagawa. Uh, <laughs> Okay. So Thanks, thank you, Chris. thank you. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see you. you. Right. Yes, 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 and yes. Sheila. Bye-bye. Yes, and Sheila, yes. Sheila, invite the people for your film, opening yes. film. Please, please, madam, please watch. Lenore will never die. Uh, because I will die if you don't watch. Good <laughs> naman. <laughs> Good naman. Good naman. Come, come and support. Support Cinemalaya. Come support the films, The everything that Cinemalaya has to offer. Iba to. Ang tagal na natin hindi ginagawa to. Magsasama-sama tayo in the theater to see uh, a movie. And that's a wonderful experience. Let's relish it. Balik tayo sa uh, movie. After Balik. two years, no, after two <laughs> years na online yung Cinemalaya, we'll have to we'll see each other at the CCP. Thank you, Chris. Any final word, Chris, before you go to another place there in Sambuanga? Well, you know, uh, See you at the Cinemalaya. Remember, it's gonna be rainy. Remember, yeah. besides the typhoon, the rains, the floods, baka hahabulin pa rin tayo mag- makisama sa atin si Monkey Pox. So, we can continue, <laughs> continue to be safe yeah, no? and healthy. But, see you at Cinemalaya at the CCP, at the commercial cinemas. And if you're in the regions, uh, abangan nyo sa cinemas nyo sa regions. If not, in your local cinema text, and even your campus uh, screening room. Sure question. Last na lang, bago ka umalis. Will the, will the tour to the mga different um, regions and cinematics include the opening and closing film? Baka makagawa ko kayo ng deal. Ay, maganda yan. 
So, narinig niya ni Nakara at saka ni Sheila, baka pwede natin pag-usapan. Kasi as early as Kasi now, ang tatanong ka from diba? the regions kung pwede daw isama. Pwede distribute, yes, uh-huh. yes. Kasi highlight din yeah. talaga yun. Wait, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh, oh. Please, no. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're off the Sir Chris. Go. Log, log bye, off the Bye. Bye. See you. Thank you. Well. See you, Sheila. See you, Cara. Bye. See you. Thank Bye-bye. you. Last word, Sheila, before you leave. I thank you. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> Oo naman. Oo naman. And we have to announce, Sheila, I'll be helping Sheila officially. Nasabi nga ni Cara, she'll be making more films. She has to do more films. Yes, ma? And she has to do more more projects. So, yes. thank you. See you August 5 sa opening. <laughs> opening ng Cinemalaya. Yes. yes. Thank you, Shields. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thank Bye. you very Bye. much. Thank now you. we're showing, as a first half break, we're showing the trailers, the omnibus trailers of the films in competition in this year's Cinemalaya 18. Before we go to our next guest, Bobby Chan and Kara Magsana Kalipala and their director, hopefully. Anggal. I have friends who died doing this. Sometimes when I hear the critics say we should not do it because people get killed, I know that that is a good argument. I know. There is a spirit that tells me we have to do it because nobody else will. President Rodrigo Duterte releases the controversial list of politicians allegedly involved in illegal drugs. Nieves Bonialda Rosento, Mayor of El Nido. I will kill you? Yes. Sino pa po ang lalaban sa El Nido kung lahat po tayo matatakot? Kaya nga po, we have to stop the destruction one forest at a time, one coral reef at a time. Ayan, ayan, no, pasitin po! have to stop these politicians. The last frontier is becoming the lost frontier.
Okay? Now we're on to um braver grounds. Yun yung mahirap dito. Parang, yun, the film mismo, I really wanted a whole hour to tackle this film. Um, because yun, we talked about the cinema Malaya and all the things that are happening next week, starting next week. But um, we have guests that have like uh, nag- stake nila yung name nila, their reputation, their everything, their principles into another brave film that we will see in the cinema Malaya. Buti na lang, um, napapalabas sa cinema Malaya and sana will in a wider release. So first of the guests, exemplary Filipino broadcast journalist who produces award-winning news documentaries and has many significant noteworthy and truly relevant advocacies that makes us that would make us really like her or be like her to, when we grow up lat kami parang sa sa industriya sana when we grow up we, we grow up like Kara Magsanok Alikpala the producer of the very brave film Delicado along with Marty Suhik Su, si Hiko and Michael Collins Kara hello good afternoon again what made you want to do this document this story into a film Um, you know, when I when I was invited to join the film and I was told that in 2018 we were the worst place, the, the most dangerous place for land defenders, that caught my attention. We have to do something. It was a no-brainer. I just had said, yes, we need to let the word out. We have a beautiful country. Palawan is fabulous. That's we have true. to save it and save the people who are saving that area. The lifestyle, you know, the very sacred burial sites, the whole, I mean, the whole area. Para, kaya nung nanaman mo yung subject matter, didn't you want, oh, tutulong ako, pero huwag nyo lang lagay pangalan ko. May ganun? May mga ganun point when you were doing the, <laughs> <laughs> the documentary. Um, yes, it was scary. Um, we were given the option. No? The whole team had a meeting actually and they were asked, whoever wants their name out, feel free to take it out, especially those in Manila. And I'm the only one based in Manila actually among the core team. <laughs> yeah, so I actually had to think about it and In the end, I mean, if Bobby's there and all the other land defenders went there, I mean, who am I to be a coward, That's right? True. So I'm That's there true. to support their story. So we had a family meeting and wala naman akong inaatrasan na ganyan. Wala akong tinatago. Dang, Hindi ako masamang course. tao. Sila yung masama. So why should I not put my I'm name? Galing. I'm galing. <laughs> Now we go to my batchmate, legal management graduate, environmental lawyer, and executive director of the Palawan NGO Network Incorporated. Persona non grata ng, ng Palawan, pero kami sa amin will welcome him with open arms. Ano na, batchmates kami. Bobby, we're so proud of you, Bobby Chan. How are you, my friend? Nasa Thank you for asking. Lang lang. Hello, Noel. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. yes. Iba yung signal sa Marikina, ha? Ah, uh, <laughs> eh. uh, I know, I know, I, I know. I, I, I can hear I you. Can. We can hear you now. We can hear you now. So, Bobby, right. when we were younger, you would have wanted to be an artista, but we never thought of you being an artista for an indie film, indie docu film like this, and very brave at that. How well, did you yeah. land? <laughs> Sorry, let me amend that. I did not want to be an artista. <laughs> Oh, hindi na lang, hindi na lang. You didn't want to be of the Philippines. So. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Or sasabihin ko sa ano, you're feeling artista also kasi parang celeb ka naman sa campus natin during our batch eh. Uh, well, ano lang, uh, the rebels without a cause. But now, oh, you know, now we have oh. a cause. Now you have a cause. When we were so, in college, we just wanted to be rebels. Eh. So, But now, you know, I think the Lord has other plans for us. So, Now we have a cost, and it's a good cost. That's true, that's true, that's true. So yun na nga, Bob, you found yourself um, still telling your story here. And well, it isn't just your story, but the story of a very, very great place na nakita mong talagang uh, umusbong nga ganda, pero ano, talagang sinisira or talagang because of greed, no? Um, ganito yung nangyayari. So, um... Why did you think of of filming this? So, parang um venturing into um documenting it through film. Oh, it's fill in the gaps, Kara. Meaning, um, because I I I read about the director, no? So oh, he's the direct- back. I think he's back. Ah, he's back. Okay, yeah. Yana. Sorry. <laughs> Go. Okay, lang. Okay, lang. Okay, lang. So we're filling the gaps. Sorry, connection. Okay, lang. Okay, lang. 
Dapat sinasabot ta. The... Sinasabot ta ka raw ng mga taga na nagsabing persona ng grata ka. <laughs> Believe me, it would not be the first time. But uh, yeah. I'm sorry, oh, what was the question again? So, so, paano ka napapayag na to put it on film? Kasi di ba, there have been articles about you, but film is a different medium, no? Oh, uh, if you meet Carl, I thought he was supposed to be in this. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you meet Carl, the uh, director. The director, no? yeah. He's the... Uh, human uh, description of the word stubborn. Uh, he, <laughs> I, okay. I really did not want to be on film. As I said, if you want, you write an article, you take pictures, but you know, yeah. I, I did not really want to yeah. busy myself with uh, taking time out to yes. do a film. No. Yeah. See, if you want to know the gravity of the situation well well one you have to watch the film but two of course and damning and damning issues that uh, it's very rich that's in, true uh, injustice environmental uh, no, we'll talk bio- about that then we'll talk about that bob but putting it on film means um talagang documenting everything and then really making people say yes about getting their consent na oo, oh, oh, papayag kaming malabas yung story namin. Ang hirap doon, ha? Exactly. But I, I, in, from the start, I did not want it on film because I did not want to take my time away from yeah. helping poor people and their issues. Yes. Eventually, it's not an environmental film. It's about poor people and giving That's your true. service. Alam mo naman tayo, men for others pa tayo. Eh. Very good. Pa, para kisan pa yung motto natin na sa tinians if we did not practice it. That's and true. devoted to those pe- to the to people who really need it more. No? Galing, so I galing. said, Carl, if you're going to film it, don't ask me to do a second take or third take. If you want, just shoot it. And then, so he placed a body camera on me and uh, used drones. Okay. So, and the, the, the rest was his okay. streets now film. So. And buti nga, na, pag buti may doc, ganong documentation. So Cara, when I read the background, parang um, the director knew you through a film festival, no? You met in it, through a film festival of your. He you knew about your works, and then he had this story. Why did he take fans in this story? Ang to. Wait. First of all, I want to explain. No, Carl wanted yes. to be here, but yes. his, his daughter had an accident yesterday. I know. So, I know. Yeah. I know. So I'm sorry about so let's that. Fill in the gaps. Really let's fill in the here. gaps there. Yeah. yeah. So, so you he, met in a film in a film festival. No, no. Abroad. Um, I was referred by Marty Sihuko. Marty Sihuko, ah, okay. he produced Give Up Tomorrow, right? Um, okay. A lot yeah. of Filipinos know that, and we worked yeah. together on another film called Call Her Ganda. Yeah. And so he recommended me because no one in their team was based in the Philippines, so that was me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I that came. Done. Why this reality? So Bob, kayo ni a Carl yung nag-usap. Yeah. Ano kung kisa yan sa ano eh? Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Um, yeah, Carl used to be the AFP at John's Franz Press, Bureau yes. Chief of Manila. And yeah. for a change, he wanted to do, to do a puff piece on Palawan. Um, okay. Ang parang coordinator niya for the story was um, Ortega, um, Jerry Ortega, the okay. environmentalist and the journalist, right? So, okay. wala planning, planning to go there to do like a tourism piece. And then, mm-hmm. like we all know, see, Ortega got shot. He was killed by yeah. you know, people who, who didn't like what he was doing for the environment. So that got him curious. He went to Palawan to investigate what happened. And it led him to meeting all these land defenders, including Bobby. I think with Bobby, it was a sort of love at first sight or a big challenge that Bobby posed that he couldn't refuse and Bobby should tell that story. But that's how it began for Carl. Ang galing, ang galing. So Bob, continue that story. So, may kaibigan siyang na, na, well, na patay, and he wanted to pursue that story. And then, instead of like having a very touristic um, documentary on Palawan, naging ganito. My God, sinasabot tayo yata si Bobby. He passed by our office. Ay, he passed by our office. He saw my chainsaw Christmas tree. So this is, okay. it's, a, it's a Christmas tree made out of chainsaws put together and said uh, well, he went inside what's with the chainsaws I said oh yeah well we caught them in illegal logging so we we put up a tree and then say and, and, our, and he thought yes, are you from the government so, no we're an NGO so, isn't that the government's job I said yeah that's a good point 
Uh, but if Absolutely. the government is not doing its job, you know, we we cannot sit idly. Yeah, of course. Maganda yun. Let the large head of the film our uh, operations. I, I said no initially. I said because, you know, uh, if you're in the forest, it's you can't miss a, a tall white guy. That's true. with the camera so i were to get more chains eventually persuasive and i said just don't get in the way and uh, allow us to do our work so we can we can uh, you know go, stop the violation so, so okay so parang naging then, naging uh parang naging uh parang ammunition or parang uh, well, deterrent yung yung hawak yung camera ko anumang abuse no kasi pag nakita nilang nakakamera parang pwedeng isiwalat sa mga tao. Um, talk to us about the role of yun campaigner, environmental campaigner Nieves Rosento, Bob. Oh, in, si, in the whole thing. si Nieves, kasi there, yeah, there are very few uh, local government officials that are receptive to uh, uh, environmental enforcement. Okay. Okay. When, when it comes to logging or or commercial fishing or uh, uh, wildlife smuggling or mining, they obviously have ties with politics. Yeah. So you you yes. are the, you 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 rarely see exec the local executives that are actually supported supporting the uh, environmental uh, cause rather than the e- economical cost. That's of uh, 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 i- industries, no? So, Nieves was one of them. Pero ba, the uh, blacklist din siya ng gobyerno, di ba? Exactly. But if I tell you what happens, then, you know, there's no reason for you to see the film. So. Watch a film. No, no, we'll watch a film. But then, yung nga parang, ay, ano ba to? Parang those people are supposed to be the ones talagang na, na sinusuportahan ng mga powers that be kasi sila yung gumagawa ng mabuti. Sila talaga yung napuput down. So, well, buti na rin, well, katulad nyo, no, naglakas ng loob, Bob. So, saan niya kinukuha sa naglakas ng loob niya? Gusto niya talagang lumaban na rin or sabihin niyong katotohanan? Well, the the, uh, the textbook answer would would uh, would say that well, our motivation is because we want to save the planet, Noel. No? But the, after decades of trying to do failing, no? I think now the real the real answer would be because we want to do the Lord's work. Because if you rely on yourself, you're destined to fail because the enemy is so strong, the business in interest, the politics are so uh, uh, and rooted. No, but if you have a bigger bodyguard, like you know, in, like for us, uh, in Jesus Christ, no, eh. Kaya kakayanin mo lahat eh. And okay, with that way, we, early on, when we decided to rely on ourselves, we 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 got a few chainsaws and we got a few trucks and woods and illegal fishing boats, but we did not sustain it. But That's now that cool. we're, you know, we uh, we go to church, we say our prayers, we thank Jesus every time every the uh, okay. all my men are safe after the operations, we find okay. ourselves more sustainable more resilient yeah, Galing, no? parang faith based faith based lahat yan naman nanggagaling no? at pinupuntahan ng lahat no? but Kara can you talk about the institutions involved na parang uy pwe, meron kayong comment on these institutions dito sa dito sa documentary kasi parang it seems like nagsanga-sanga no? parang uh, <laughs> ng mga institutions na parang nasang, nasangkot dun sa illegal logging at pagsira ng environment ng Palawan Oy, sasagutin niya ni Bobby. Kwento niya yan lahat. Siya ang sasagutin niya. <laughs> Siya ang nakasagasa. We just really gave him the platform for the story. Siya ang nakasagasa. No. Pero sige. Sure. Pero Bob, yun. Let ano me say yung... the really hard stuff. <laughs> okay. You no. say it best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what institutions did you give comment on here in this documentary? Me or Kara? You, Bobby. <laughs> okay. Nagturuan silang dalawa. Okay. Mas articulate well, All of them, actually. All okay. of them. 
all of them. Oh, if any agency, local government or outfit, including civil society, yes. uh, that is linked with the environment and does nothing about it, sinagasaan yes, namin na. Okay, oh, tama kasi naman it's wrong to think that this is just an, a government of affair, Noel. Eh. There are outfits in even NGOs and yeah. uh, civil society organizations that have tremendous amount of funding that if they do not do their work concretely, and when I say concretely, it's not just something written in paper and you pass a narrative That's report true. and then you get That's more funding. True. But if, it, it, if, if they don't have concrete results in the area then you know you know you're going to hear it from us enabler uh, ka parang ganun no? no so whether your government or uh, civil society or an educational institution you are entrusted with this kind of work and if you're yes. if you're talking about it you're in this kind of line of work and you don't do anything substantial about it then you know the, this film is going to show precisely that no so national government local oh. governments ngos civil society groups even religious education groups. no even education kasama education has a big part of it eh. and if you i don't know how long you have to this but look, our problem is we tend to put too much premium on education as a way that will save us from environment violation. We, we sure. want to teach uh, communities not to log, not to do, not to uh, use dynamite when you fish, not to use yeah. cyanide when to fish, not to get baby uh, birds so that you can yeah. sell it, and not to yeah. mine, uh, small scale mining. But the problem is without an enforcement program, That's your education true. program is dead. That's it, true. You will be teaching to people who are too scared to protect the resources. So you've That's got true. to delve into an enforcement program that will stop the violation. Then you teach. Then you study the species. That's true. That's true. Without that, you have very little chance of saving resources, habitats, and even protected areas. That's so, what, basically what we did. So, ang target audience nito, if it's a wake-up call to all these institutions, will be those that you mentioned. No? But, um, well, it extends. So, well, hindi lang to tungkol sa Palawan. Hindi lang to, di ba? Parang, oh, hindi lang to. Kwento to ng Palawan, sa Palawan, pero ang concern nito, pang macro. Yun. So, yeah. but, um, yeah. But, yeah, um, sa so, mismo sorry, locality, before... Sa mismong locality, Bob, what will this film achieve? Or sa ano yung, ano yung measure mo of success with this film? Anong gusto mong mabago dun sa locality, sa Palawan mismo? Uh, with this, people knowing or well, watching this film? Oh, wow. And, oh, not in, but, uh, what I want to do is to change mindsets yeah, uh, individually. Yeah, yeah. No? Gets, gets. People, right now, Noel, we are we are in the peak of a culture of impunity. Everybody's mindset is just, wala naman ako magagawa dyan eh. Wrong! This That's film true. is about saying, you can do it. It's about Meron. ordinary people, fishermen, Meron. tribal people, farmers who get together to do extraordinary things of confiscating chainsaws. Can you imagine that? Galing. Confiscating Galing. trucks, confiscating Galing. mine equipment confiscating dynamite and cyanide fishing boats. If poor people can do this, ano pa naman tayo? Yale, you know, na yale, yale, we have resources, we have money yale, in the bank. Yale, yale, yale. But if poor people can get together and do this, it's supposed to change mindsets now that everybody can do it. Everyone. Not just the people in Palawan. The people in the four different regions, uh, three different regions, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. But okay. it's it's okay. specially focused on Palawan because hey, kung ano nang, kung an, if there's something, some area that you want to save, it should be the last frontier, this one. That's While that's we still true. have the corridors, the forest yeah. corridors and the coral corridors. Well, yeah. Take note, I'm not talking about watersheds. Huh? In Palawan, we still have corridors. 
Yeah. Several watersheds linked together in a corridor. And slowly, oh. politics is building roads in in between them and cutting okay. that corridor. Buti yeah. nga, hindi natuloy yung isang malaking uh, water theme park that encompasses all the coral reefs on the uh, northern, uh, western, nor- northwestern side of the of the province. Kundi, hagip niya lahat. Ano pa matitira sa mga isda. But the thing But is, you know, if you change yeah. the mindsets of poor people yes. and then they get together do do something like this, no? To get a better chance on saving the resource. But, Cara, Bobby, we know of our friends wanting to get land in Palawan kasi daw, sampusang pera yung binibenta dyan ngayon. And we know, mamaya pagkatapos ang episode natin, we know of really these people na makakaibigan natin. But, um, tell us, Cara, what are the challenges that you faced in, in, in doing this documentary? Um, I wouldn't say there were extraordinary challenges that really come mm-hmm. with making a documentary. But as a filmmaker, it's always hard to really nail the story to make yes, sure no. you do justice to all your characters, yes, that you capture you know, their life mission, their life vision, and have yeah. them alongside each other. That, that takes a long time to do. Yes, um, and you see, yeah. like Bobby's one and there are two other major characters and we really had to you know, blend them together well. We That's didn't, true. Yeah, we didn't want you know to take their stories for granted, um, but also I must mention we hit the pandemic, so that was a big challenge. Um, mm-hmm. Thankfully, our last filming was like 2019, just before the pandemic. So editing took long. We were actually delayed by over a year. We would have released mm-hmm. them, re- released them sooner, but the pandemic hit us, so you know the it slowed down everything. So 2017, so, you started 2017. Yeah, no? 2017 yeah. we started. But but yeah, and of course, every step of the way, we were very careful, always getting the consent of the people we were with because we know yes. what danger. It's very dangerous for them to come forward. I don't know if people realize yes. it. It takes a lot of courage to do what they did. Yeah, I mean, already yes. what they do is dangerous, and to come forward on the big screen for many people to see—that's even a braver, bold step. They that's went, true. you know, they went beyond themselves. So when we showed the film to their families. Like Kunyari is a land defender who really goes into the forest, si Tata. His mm-hmm. wife said, oh my God, ganyan pala ginagawa niya. Buti, dapat di ko nalang pinayagan. First time they saw. At the same yeah, time, man. they were so amazed. They were so in awe. Sabi nga nung anak niya, naku, para palang superhero si Papa. Bilang di nila kinahiya yung trabaho, kung anong ginagawa. Galing. Yeah, there was so much pride in what they were doing. And so parang now, their fear uh, for what he did is so much smaller for their fear of losing all that's at stake. Ang galing. So, And, they see that pala- big picture. Yeah. Ibang taga Palawan. I mean, I've done so many stories in Palawan. And iba yung mm-hmm. love for nature. Yung totoong mabait na Palawan. Totoo yun. No? Iba, you know, like, yun. you know, we're huddled with the drivers or something in between, you know, takes for a shoot. Ang chismis yeah. nila is nanganak yung turtle. Ma'am, nakita ko yung turtle, nanganak. Ganyan yung chismis nila. Environmentally friendly pa. You know, it, it's their way of life. They breathe it. I've never met, you know, You know, anyone in this country Ganyan? as, you know, deeply ingrained and in love and married to, to nature. In their environment, yeah, no? Uh-oh. But tell us about the thing, the, the lawyering thing, um, that you have to seek the, ano, the advice of the lawyer bago niya ilabas or mag, bago mag-final cut. Kasi kailan, you really have to be careful, no? Well, any documentary, we always, we always consult lawyers. Even if it's an entertainment documentary, you always yes, consult yes. lawyers. Not just for the interviews, but we might be lifting video that's owned by someone else, but not the yes. person who made. So, there are legal issues. But here, of course, it was especially more meticulous, the vetting of every information, every statement. And uh, we, also, we also had to get errors and omission commission. That's something a lot of filmmakers know. And it's hard to afford, but we had to cough it up for this to protect everyone in the film. Um, Bobby, you understood that naman. That parang kasama sa process talaga ng any documentaries, yung parang vetting and then trying to like consult lawyers and so. And you appreciated that? Yeah, well, the, I, I'm a lawyer. So I had to review also all everything that was said in the film. But you see, yeah, from right. my perspective, you shouldn't be afraid uh, of any legal uh, opposition to the film. If what yeah. you said there was the truth, no, our okay. gauge should not be 
whether we will be attacked legally or but our yeah. gauge should be is it the truth and yeah. everything else that was said there was the truth so okay. we were really confident about it but the the reason why i had to review it because there are few things said there that legally it will stand but on a security issue yeah. you don't want to be too emotional you don't want to be too oppositional yeah. or protestive yes. that you invite reprisals and you know yes. uh we've had the, too much of that already yes. Uh, yes. deaths and uh physical injuries i don't think my team can take another loss so we 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 i decided to review and cut some of the scenes that really will invite reprisals or uh, that's true. Uh, hostilities so yeah, you don't want to spend too much time on the uh, more than you just want, you want I know, to film I know. out. You want to film yes. out. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And people to identify with it. No? So, bakit delikado? So now 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 we have to like spell it out to people. Bakit delikado yung naging title? Bakit ano yung delikado dito? Cara no, Bob. No, according to the director, yun yung ano expression na naririnig niya lagi. He doesn't speak Tagalog, no, but he always mm-hmm. hears that word. So he, he knew yeah. what it meant by just hearing it, you know, at certain times of the day. This was always uttered by one of the characters of the film. His Galing, no? Tata, oh, yeah. Oh. Lagi, oh. delikado siya, delikado dito. Oh, and just to go back to what you said, Noel, you said that yes. uh, this tall white guy who is our director was like a deterrent. Cannot be, he could not be seen in the forest or Bobby will kill him. He had to be very low profile <laughs> and not get in the way of the work. Of his That's land true. defenders, yeah, and you know, even the camera guy was also tall uh, and very conspicuous. Yeah, they really had to, you know, be very oh, oh, as naturally as possible. Yung yeah. shoot, diba? They had to be invisible so that the people could do their work. They didn't make That's special true. accommodations for them, and they had a hard time keeping up with the guys. I mean, they had very oh. nice, you know, mountain hiking shoes and all that, and you know, jackets and sila tata yung team ni ano naka. Flip flops, naka singlet, tapos ang bilis bilis maglakad, hindi na babalik chinelas. Yung sapatos ni Carl talagang nasira, and he had leg cramps several times, Grabe. and he had to budget the water. You know, you drink, sabi niya ang hirap. So parang sila tata, parang effortless sa kanila. Eh. And you should see the team of Bobby. There was a scene, and actually a lot more scenes were cut off. One of the guys there was just like romancing the tree. You know, he just stands in the forest, uh, uh, loves the tree, embraces the tree. Uh, he was even saying, I, I don't think this made it to the cut, but um, I feel lucky. I see these trees. Other people only see it in books. I mean, these trees are huge. Really, Ang huge galeng, no? Uh, Parang it's really nakakatawa. experiencing it as it is, no? Yeah. Hindi concept, hindi concept. Bob, bakit to delicado? Did it cost you your life? <laughs> No, I think the, uh, the that's Carl's. Uh, he kept on asking me what was why why my team kept on saying that word, you no, know, the delicado. Yeah, because yeah. every time we go out, uh, we always take a different route going back. That's uh, true. For example, if we if we're going to hit the north, uh, we always take a different route. Going to the to, going to the south, so that kung inabangan lang kami sa isang area going in, uh, we won't we won't they 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 can't they can't di lang kami maabangan go, going back. So uh, yeah, and every yeah. time Carl says, "Hey, this is a shorter route," uh, my team says, "What delicado jan?" Yeah, and, uh, and then and he kept adding mean, and I said, where, "Where did they use it?" and uh, but that that that's the the favorite uh, Tata, uh, one of the uh, lead uh, uh, actors in the and uh, all, all the team members. Uh, they it's a it's a word they always use. Uh, so yeah, I think that that that. Right. ba like kayong dalawa? You're so brave, na kung ano man yung delikado. You when you're closer to a religious experience, the spiritual experience. Parang oo nga, may kaba, pero si you're just there, di ba? Yung susuungin mo rin talaga yan. Bob, ito naman. Um, don't you miss being in Palawan? Ah, uh, oo oh, eh. The, the, sobra, sobra na, no? But I don't, really, I don't miss it. Uh, no? I'm more guilty than missing it. Because, you know, so wala kang magawa. 
exactly uh, yeah, but sad, uh, uh, before yeah. when you were there dam magawan but now you know you're relegated to uh, zoom meetings and uh, calls yeah. on how you should operate this uh, this violation no so but you haven't stopped really well with your crusade no I'm sorry. with your advocacy you haven't you, you didn't stop with your crusade with your advocacy no Oh no, oh, no. In fact, yesterday we, we got a new chain. So eh. so I'm okay. always in close contact with my team when they get to uh, they're oh, they're yeah. in an area. So yesterday they were in the north. They asked me what they should do uh, because the uh, operation was again headed by a well, belonged to a well known politician also. Yeah, we, and then we had yeah, to discuss strategies before they hit the area. Nakuha naman namin yung chainsaw uh, and then the pictures of that operation so we'll, you will just put, post it in our Facebook page. Okay. Gra- mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gra- Sabi lalaki ng mga forestry na naman. I'm uh, on, ano, on mm-hmm. both forestry and fishery violations. So. Grabe, no? But then, Bob, yung kung, kung nakikita mo nga yan, no? parang, um, how did you feel about, parang ito na yung community na tinutulungan ko at sila pa yung umaayaw dito sa initiatives ninyo? Diba, parang, Sorry, I, I didn't get that. My, I yeah. didn't... Parang at a certain point, you'd say you're doing it for that community, for the people of Palawan. But then, but some of them are the very same people. Who who looked at you na as a villain or or someone against their 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 wishes or their their welfare? Yeah, that's very good. Uh, no, you that's a very important insight. No, you cannot uh, romanticize that's being true. community based, and at the same time, you can't romanticize being pro totally environmental. No. So you have to match this thing, and it's a very tricky process. Eh? That's, That's why there's a lot of prayer involved. Sorry about it. I keep on go- going back there. If you know me, Noel, I'm not a spiritual Kara, I have to tell you, hindi siya ganyan nung college ka niya. Talaga? Siya yung nasa asok table. Siya yung nasa asok table. Nire-rate nila yung mga girls na dumadaan papunta sa library. Oh, Sila we yung... don't have to really go that far. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Bob. Pero yun na nga. But Bob, we're so proud of you. We're really so uh, proud of you. A lot of things, uh, you know, Noel, when... And y- 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 a lot of things change when you lose people, eh. When, uh, uh, when, when, when you lose true. people who are who depend on you, eh. You, you yeah. get to question whether the program is... Uh, worth implementing. Yung mabugbog ka o ma, ma physical injuries ka yun, you can take that pa. Eh. But when people are yeah. killed talaga, a lot of things you get to That's really and, and 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 you know when you lose when you lose people who uh, depend. Yung value ng buhay talaga, no? And, uh, for whether you should uh, whether you should still implement this kind of a program and people get hurt no so you have yeah. as i said you have to rely from something other than yourself if you think you can That's figure true. it out you're just being arrogant so the humility That's part true. is to seek spiritual guidance and ako i found it in jesus christ i'm still i'm ca- terribly catholic now uh, but, yeah. but because of the terribly, but Kara <laughs> is also, <laughs> and we are. Yun nga eh. Parang yun, lo, oh, eh. Kasi all these involvements and advocacies would would challenge our lifestyles. No? Terribly Catholic, <laughs> grave. Oh, wala eh. Forced, forced uh, by the circumstances. Eh. You, uh, you, you uh, need a bigger, you need a bigger backup. Eh. That's true then. That's true so, then. Pero di ba? May challenge talaga sa lifestyle natin the way we look at at the world, at faith, and uh, at other people. No? So, how did, well, siguro, Kara, you've, you've done a lot of documentaries, but how does this particular story affect you? Um, How does it affect me? Um, It makes me very angry. 
Ah, totoo. It just ang makes galing. me very Ang galing, ang galing. And it's a I stage, mean, no? Yeah. Kailangan... Kasi it, pag tinatanong, di ba? Yeah. What not makes not you that, angry? Yeah. What I makes mean, you angry? Those those are the things that um yeah. it are greed. essential or yeah. It's at at yung ano parang yeah. important to you that if people yeah. cross it, magagalit ka talaga. Oh. So, yeah, it made you angry because because some people are taking too much that doesn't belong to them. It's greed. It's That's greed true. talaga. That's you know, true. I always I always say this in the interviews, parang in all our lives we have to define what's enough. Or you just keep going and wanting more and wanting more and never getting satisfied. You have to define, keep rooted in your values. Or you can, when you cross that line, you lose it there. But you can justify. So mm-hmm. it's so important, like like what Bobby mm-hmm. said, you have to be spiritually based. Depending whatever religion you believe in or higher being, it's mm-hmm. always important to be grounded. If not, you mm-hmm. can be swayed. And it's so easy to get tempted with the ways of the world. And you think you're not, but you will. It's really hard. It's really hard. And so it makes me angry because people who have the power to influence change use it for their own means. And it's such a cliche. That's why it makes me more mad. That's like, true. Napaka la, napaka na rito mga lessons ato. Hindi pa bakay na tututo, di ba? Parang you know, it's it, again who who suffers the people who are already suffering, which is not fair. You're going to meet uh, Mimi in the film. She's an indigenous mm. person, and mm. talagang ano, you know. The, the land is, is where they bury their ancestors. Mm-hmm. That's where they, you know, raise their children. Lahat nangyari sa buhay nila, nandun nangyari. Mm-hmm. You cannot just take it away. You cannot just trample it. It's sacred. Mm-hmm. It belongs to someone. Diba? Parang, kala nila katapat lahat pera. Minsan nga, hindi pera, land grabbing lang. Hindi ganun eh. So I really yeah, also yeah. hope we inculcate a great appreciation, not just for the IPs, but even for the land defenders. There's so little appreciation yes. for them. And I'm not just saying PNN, even um, government forest rangers get killed. They also yes. face the same challenges. And even other land defenders in other countries like Colombia, Brazil, they face the same challenges. So if we keep bringing these problems you know, to the fore, hopefully there's some change of heart and mind. And earlier you said, ano bang nasasagasan ng institutions? I want to add, sinasagasan rin naman yung mga audience na ayaw yeah. makinig sa amin ituturo. So, I mean, now that you know, what are you going to do? Because if you don't do anything, you're complicit. That's true. Pa simple. And I'm telling you, you don't need to go to Palawan and confiscate a chainsaw. But you know, when you take a vacation, try to know who owns that resort, ano ba yung kahoy ginamit, or if you patronize a restaurant, you know, get to know these people so there's conscious and sustainable living in the way you do things. And in, in whatever you support, diba? even what you tell your kids, lahat eh. Ano yan eh, kabit-kabit, everyone is affected. I mean, the pandemic showed us whatever one person does, someone yes. else is affected or someone else can yes. die, diba? Yes, so it's going back to basics. So that's why very angry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Kao, ano yung, with, with, your, with telling your story, what do you want people to feel? And how, what did you feel after like, well, looking, looking at their story or watching your story on screen? Uh, well, I'd, I'd like pe- people to have a sense of urgency at That's this point. No? You, you know what, you, what, what scares me the most now is that nobody is scared with the situation that we are That's in now. True. That's I mean, true. we change the term climate change into climate yeah. crisis. There must be a reason for that. And yes. yet nobody has this. They don't, they're not bothered they don't have this uh, sense of urgency and that like everybody is just cool about it no? and no, nobody true. wants to do what needs to be done yeah. that's why yeah. it, it, we already have extreme weather changes it, it's snowing in argentina and then yeah. re- right now there are wildfires across europe and you know and yet uh, for us you know it's we're not affected by angaling yeah. angaling so the urgency of like um of, of action, no? Will you be well um showing this to institutions, those institutions can the urgency to do to yeah. do little things, no? Se- yeah. se- segregate your trash, uh, maintain your vehicles so that they don't produce uh, yeah. uh p- 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 smoke smoke belching, but do yeah. it, do things that will you know help save save the planet and then uh, and the so, consistency of it all have that no? sense of urgency galeng 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 so 
ano yung impact na tina-target nyo? <laughs> Kasi after like people watching this finally here in the Philippines, oo, kaya para parang ikaw, no, magagalit yung mga tao, pero they should be acting on it. They should be like looking at themselves and do, doing their share. So it might create a lot of like also friction with institutions, but we expect that. So ano yung pwedeng mangyari? What, an, an, aning prepared kayo? Aning wall from maganda to hindi maganda? <laughs> I just think of the maganda. I want more oh, people. Sige, I want more people to support very micro what Bobby's doing. Um, there's yes, a call to support yes. his uh, his foundation financially. That's true. Yeah, and even you know he has grand plans for studies. You know, mapping all these yeah. sites in Palawan. Whatever studies he wants to get into research and to really just sustain his land defenders. I think I would focus on that primarily. Angale. Angale. And if people in power want to increase funding for land defenders or at least really just implement the laws that are already in place that's already huge for me yeah that's very yeah good. I, I really hope what someone takes notice whether a lawmaker local government i mean Angeline. not just in palawan you know anywhere in the country there's so much to be done for this beautiful country oh, clear, um, clear, and i, I want to think that someone will take notice whether small or big I'll take any galing, positive. Ang galing. Any yeah. effort, no? Makakatulong. Parang, Bob, ikaw naman. Um, I know our batchmates are really like of help, no? Parang nakita ko sa page natin. Pero what more? What more do you expect pagkatapos mapalabas ng pelikula? Ah, wow. Uh, I, uh, I think you, if you watch the film, there are a lot of things that will inspire you to do your own bit. To, that's true. But uh, that's maybe true. if we if we're uh, I I'd, I'd like to plug in something that's not on the film. Okay. Uh, and we had really we had a really long debate with Carl on this one. Uh -huh. uh, there there was there was certain there was a certain silolo siloloquy of uh, of uh, the issue of environmental pride that I wanted injected in the film that Carl took out no? and it okay. was one of my big disappointments because I said Carl you you can take out anything but this has to go in the film can, can we ask Kiara naman? can we ask Kiara as a producer um, wait, wait what, sorry the director's call? Noel, um, go, Noel, go 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 I haven't really tell what I what I mean by pride is at this point the our problem is not an external problem. It's a pers a, a, an internal true. one. Our leaders uh -huh. have so much pride in themselves that important programs such as this, you know, they they just become disregarded or, or, or rejected because mm -hmm. they think that their their way is the only way. Mm -hmm. Now that's the one I wanted in the film because I want leaders that are open-minded to new solutions of doing things. But this, the, the, the problem is the leaders that we have right now, there's yeah. this too much pride that, 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 that shrinks the possibility of good programs like this to get promoted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is it not part of, part of the film or why was it deleted, Kara? <laughs> I don't know, but... Um... You know, there are many considerations always. And anyway, there is an impact campaign that comes after this. So there will ah, be a okay. lot of in-person, you know, screenings where we will have people like Bobby there to talk about okay. other things, including what he just mentioned. I mean, okay. there are many other things that... It, it, it was always a debate of what stays and what doesn't stay. Ang tagal ng diskusyonan yan talaga. I mean, there are a lot okay. of things I also wanted in the film that are not there. Um, okay. So it, it, was, it had to be a consensus and, you know... You want also what will really, really resonate. Yeah. Because a lot of documentaries have big concepts on the environment. It becomes too abstract for a lot of people. So that's we, true. We that's try true. to make it as, as down to earth and as relatable but then, as possible. You'll but be you know, there. You'll be everything. there. But you'll be there to like um engage with the with the viewers, no? Eventually, uh, after watching the documentary, you'll be you'll make yourself available in discussing yung the issues presented. And hopefully, no, kung merong screening to sa mga government agencies or local governments, no, pwedeng pag-usapan. Will you be open to that, Bob? Naman. Okay, okay. 
Pero hindi debate na, no? Hindi na debate. Pwede But, rin. <laughs> wag na, Bob. Tapos ka na doon. Parang, parang mas ito ngayon, resolutions on things that can be done. Uh, na, always a pacifist, na, Noel. But yeah, sure. Yan nga. <laughs> yan nga. Yan nga. But in the end, um, ano yung impact nito pag pinanood ng mga taga-Palawan? Oh, I said I think I said it before no not just pala the, the change mindsets that you know you can do almost anything Because, Bob that, ito ha ginawa mo na yun face to face with them will this film be any different when they see it Oh Sinabotahin na naman ka. Maganda pa naman ng tanong. Hindi ba balik yan? Maganda yung tanong niya. Ayan. Oo, okay. na, na, okay. nawala ako. But yeah. Uh, oh. well, yeah. Yeah, I think if, after seeing this film, people will now be more confident uh, to do the okay, same, boy. to replicate the same. So. Galing, no? Kasi the power of cinema, katulad nga sinabi mo, Cara, no? Yung kung nakita ng anak o ng asawa, yung ginagawa ng tatay niya, parang may kila, kikilabutan ka na nag-capture ng camera. Kasi kung if you're deep into that that life, wala kang, wala kang hindsight, wala kang ano, view sa, na, sa malayo. Eh. Pero now, you're able to see the whole picture. And I think the, the film's giving them the big picture na maiintindihan nila ito. So, well, yeah, even the personal <laughs> stakes, di ba? Because if you don't see the film, you don't know their personal stakes and the personal sacrifice, which you will see in the film. Diba? That's, that's, what, that's why we wanted to get as personal and micro as possible to really capture people's attention and not focus on too many big concepts yes, which they can read yeah. about anywhere diba? but yes. yeah, the, the personal sex grabe. I mean even Tata one of the land defenders used to work some, for someone who was doing illegal logging Yeah, I mean, unknowingly yeah, yeah. he didn't know and so in his mind he's trying to make up for all those years that he cut I don't know he said hundreds of trees every day for how many years it actually yeah, scandalized me it scandalized him yeah so, yeah. yeah, incredible what they, these people give up just to nasa kanila people. lang parang normal at natural na buhay no? so Bob <laughs> hindi ka naman susuko no <laughs> with mm. this course <laughs> Well, were there, were there instances? Said, uh, yesterday, we my, caught my, the chain too. So, so. I know, I know. But may instance ba, Bob, na panapanghinaan ka ng loob? Madalas. Madalas. But it's like a uh, roller coaster ride. Eh. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. But the important thing is... At what point like, yung down? At what point yung down, Bob? I want to know that kasi people see you as on, yun, fighter. Si Bob, you, you're secure pag pagkasama mo yan kasi pagtatanggol ka niyan. Pero... What were the times na talagang ay surrender parang okay bahala na kayo Lord eh, yung namatayan kami syempre sino ba naman hindi madadown yun nabawasan Totoo kami yun. Totoo That's yun. one second yung funding walang wala na kami tapos pag may magkasakit pa sa mga tao ko like uh, the, in the middle of an operation yung tao ko si Roy eh, nagka-appendicitis eh di papaopera namin yun in the Ganyan. middle of the forest, di ba? Dadali mo sa hospital, pakakainin mo pa yung mga pamilyang pupunta doon habang nagbabantay. So, we, the, all these things, they need money to, ano, to Bob, I need those you stories. you don't have money, so, you, I need those stories kasi ang tingin to... sa'yo, ang tingin sa kanya ng batchmates, tough, tough guy. Pero yun na nga, merong, merong part na yan, yan na nga eh. Parang those are, the, those are the stories that make you human, no? Parang yan yung kailangan mo ng tulong, yan yung kailangan mo sumarender sa Diyos, no? Exactly, exactly. Uh, providence yan eh, di ba? You to trust that the Lord will provide. And uh, mind you, uh, Noel, on the times that uh, walang-wala kami, that's when the miracles happen. So, Galing, no? Uh, Ang galing, the, no? The, the, but the, that's, you, you just have to go through the downside. You have that's to go true. through the depression. And then... Ah, dumaan ka doon. Dumaan ka doon, Bob. Naman. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> you, you, people in the end, I went through a depression also. I'm not uh, I'm not ashamed of it though. Being, yes, of course. At napagwagihan mo yun. No? For it, good for you. But yeah. the important thing is uh and, and just to share, no. The antidepressants yeah. really didn't do anything for me, but uh, But it's all processing, uh, go, no? Go, uh but going to church and That's uh, true. Re- That's true. Uh, Yan siguro sorry Bible, kasi halos magkakabatch tayo. Oh, say, sorry, sorry. Saying the uh, praying the rosary. 
That's true. Uh, and again, no, hindi bagay, no? Si Bobby siya nag-grow na sa akin. <laughs> no, pero, <laughs> pero, pero <laughs> magkakabatch tayo, dun tayo sa era na yung, oo, oh, oh, you'll get sad, you'll get depressed, pero hindi ka magsistay doon ng matagal. Kasi ngayon, yung era ngayon, talagang they have to deal with it differently, no? Pero sa atin, we just went on and there were, no, there there was faith, there were, well, our our barkadas our our support groups na malakas and yung kunyari bumagsak ka ng sa, sa isang class alam natin yung gagawin natin madidepress ka pero kailangan kang tumayo so kaya parang di ba yung 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 well-being natin na not na iba yun ngayon no parang dapat tatag because of that, that 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 we just have to keep moving forward yun, but but with the acknowledgement na meron yung mga downside na yun. Buti nga, Bob, kasi nung bata tayo, hindi mo inaamin na nasasaktan ka. No? At least ngayon, nas- <laughs> nasasabi mo na. No? That's too personal. <laughs> <laughs> nasasabi mo na. So at least that. But that it's really faith. no You said faith. You said, um uh, I guess community, your family. How, is, how did your family take the whole thing? Oh, they took a beating, eh. Siyempre, eh. Work Jordan, and depression. Yeah. But, uh, yun, yun nga. I think, and the economics uh, of it, Bob, even, no? Pero, you know, my my wife and my daughter had the, the you know, the, those sandalan, eh. And um, galing, I, galing, I don't galing. think uh, I could have come out, uh, uh, su- uh, uh, succeeded in everything that I had to do without the support of Sheila and Tara. So, uh, family galing. is very important. I'm glad that I was declared persona non grata. Now I'm I'm with them here full time. No, and, uh, yan, no? I, I really don't mind doing the dishes and driving my kid to work. So, kamabait lang talaga si Sheila kahit ng college pa tayo. <laughs> Ayun pa, pa. <laughs> oh, naman totoo naman yon. So, ka Kara, so a um, mode of production, a um, mode of distribution ng film. Um, how much did you have? Sorry, how much did you have to like um shell out to like mount this documentary? Mababawin yun ba yon? You don't have to answer. Well, you don't have to answer the figures, no. But or what is it? Is it um an objective? Na mababawin yung investment? I don't think doc. If you're if you want to be a filmmaker doing documentaries, you'll never make money. Way, so yeah, you'll never true. make money. Yeah, you'll never that's make your true. money back. So we rely that's on a lot true. of grants and grants that hopefully don't ask for the rights to own the rights. That's true. That's true. So uh, it's hard. We're still fundraising to pay for everything that we spent for. Hindi pa rin Ang galing. Yeah. No, you were the awarded way. a grant by Sydney, the Sydney Film Festival. I I just. Learned about it, di ba? Yung na, may big may award. Oh, it was a prize. Yeah, it was a prize. It was a prize. So, it was a prize, yeah. Are there um, more forthcoming? Are you joining festivals for this? Yeah, in a few days, we'll be at the Melbourne International Film Festival. Yay, yeah, there are others lined up. Di ko lang memorize, pero yeah, marami. Yay, and, and during the festival, they're always really amazed at how people like Bobby sustain. Ah, such very a, good. I was in New York good. for the Human Rights Festival. It was such a, a question all the time. And I I'm guess for a lot it. of them who are not spiritually based, it was, you know, why faith? Why is he always talking about God? Hindi <laughs> nila But in the end, no? In the end, doon naman tayo nabubuo. Di ba? Parang, well, the fullness of our story is the acceptance of that faith. Well, now, now this early, I have to say, Atom, ah, sana hindi mo makuha yung Australian Embassy. <laughs> ano mo? Visa mo? <laughs> para you can like host the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. In our Q and A, we have ano pala, Karen Davila yeah. and Atom Araulio. If he doesn't go to Australia, yes, for the yes, talk back, yes, yeah. Yes, and we will be, back. we'll be having as guests not just Bobby but every other character in the film in Palawan. So, ah, so they'll be here. Yeah, we're excited to see our our friends here. So please come and see the film and meet the heroes of Palawan. How can they get tickets? Because we have to. Sabi nga ni Di Chris Maniado kanina, the opening film lang yung libre. But this oh, one... Oh, eh. Sana uh, kami libre rin eh. No, no. Ah, pero hindi kailangan yung kumita. Because part of it, proceeds mapupunta naman sa inyo. So, well, CCP, no? Box office. Um, Yeah. Right now, your best bet is to buy your tickets right there. Um, I think you can also buy it online sa so Ticket World and SM yeah. something. But it's still yeah. not available. Only the films in competition. So but, if they fix that glitch, then you can buy online. But for now, I think you just have to buy it at the CCP box office. But since I have a festival pass already, so that it includes even the closing film, I suppose. I was just told, hindi kasama ang closing film. Kaya kawawa kami. So please come and watch your film. Inexcluding closing film. Yeah. 
Ah, okay. So we have to get separate tickets. Anyway, we'll I hope are you going to be you. there, Noel? Will you be yeah, there? Yeah, I will be there. I will be I, there. We I'm have tickets for you, there. huh? Yeah, but Bob, yeah. our best friend, our, our friend, Hubert will be there. And then and, and si Laura said, sabi si namin na na-attend for ng CCP. Ang layo-layo ng CCP, pero pupunta, pupunta sila para. Yun, and, and, and with COVID pa, and COVID pa and all, no, Monkey we have to see this. Yes. <laughs> and then, Tight security siguro, no? Baka kung ano man yung mangyari, pero wag naman sana. Because Wait, wag mo sabihin yan. Pero yun nga, yun nga. Parang but in, I think, in, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be an act of bravery to go to the CCP. But I hope everyone can do it to just honor all these heroes who just do something brave every day without fanfare in Palawan. So that's a little bit of proof. Just really, na, you know, do your own antigen at home. Come mask. Try not to take off your mask true. unnecessarily. Yeah. Please true. honor the heroes in Palawan. Bob, kinikilabutan ako. Yan na. Parang you didn't ask for it, but people see you as a hero. Parang, yeah. oo oh, oh, eh. O, oh, tiga mo? Parang, <laughs> parang yun eh. Parang, pero salamat. Salamat talaga for like standing up for for what is right. Yun na lang talaga. You know, so, Noel, if you watch the film, you will see more of the heroes that they're big, bigger heroes than me. As I said, the my team is made up of tribal people, fishermen, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, farmers. Si Tata mangingisda yan eh. In yeah. fact, it is si Tata. Will he be there in the lodge? Mother. Yeah, he'll be there and his wife and his daughter. Yeah. Ang galing. Oh, galing. Mangingisda yan. In fact, ma- to be precise, mamamating yan. He was a shark hunter before oh. I got him into the team. No? So, but the, the, you'll, you'll see that some, most of my, all of my team members will be there on, on, the, on the showing. You, you go, you're going to meet the real heroes, the tribal people like Junior, si Tag, Tagbanwa, uh, Ika is a fisherman, Tredes is a farmer. They'll all be there. These are the real heroes. Secret diba? weapon ni ano, secret weapon ni Bobby yung tagbanwa, di ba? <laughs> Tung nandun sila, dahil pupunta sila. They're going to be there, shake hands with them, lalo na si Junior. Sabi ko, I tribal will. tagbanwa ka, tapos ang pangalan I mo, will. Junior. Sana pinalitan mo yan. <laughs> Said like Bobby, like Bobby Chan. But I'll I'll look for Sheila and congratulate and, and hug her for like putting up with you. Kasi iba rin, <laughs> iba rin talaga yung, iba rin yung pinagdaanan mo. And because I have a friend in Puerto Princesa naman sa Palawan na dating taga Manila Zoo, Bob. I can so identify kasi ako yung sumbungan niya. Pangalan niya Glenn. Na nandun siya sa preservation ng ng turtles, ng mga yung pangapawikan, ng, uh, okay. ng wildlife doon. Ganyan din yung frustration nila. So I'll like, probably be able to connect you to him. Talagang ang ganda-ganda ng Palawan, pero sinisira lang because of, tama yung sinabi ni Carrie, yung greed, no? So, Kenyo, we, I never thought you'd come to this, Bob, inviting people to your movie. <laughs> no, oh, girl, sorry, so, invite. Inviting people oh, to your invite. movie, yeah. Parang, who would oh, have okay. thought, Bob, okay. that you're inviting people to a movie, to your movie? <laughs> Well, to all those, uh, to all of you who are uh, impatient like me, frustrated, <laughs> uh, fed up with the politics and lip, lip service of trying to save the planet, please uh, see our film. No? Yes. I guarantee you it will make you more impatient, more frustrated, more fed up. But, but, but that's a good thing. Because the, that 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 impatience, that frustration, that that discontent is going to push you to do your bit for the environment. So galeng, galeng. I'll, I'll see you all there on the 13th. Galeng. He says it as, as it is. No, parang kung hindi ka na babagabag, hindi ka pwedeng magsimula. So kung may mga tanong kang ganyan, pwede kang magsimula. So yun yun. Um, Kara, can you invite the people again, and we'll see you on. That play date, not the 15th, no? August 13th, August 13th. Saturday, 3.30 p.m. Again, August 13th, 3.30, 3.30 p.m. Saturday. Whatever you're doing, please drop everything for the film, for the people we yeah. honor in the film. It's really That's worth true. it. They, they are protectors of nature, of our beautiful Thank you. country. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, Bob. Well, in the end... It's really pride, pride sa inyo and pride of the people, of the people that you represent. Kasi grabe, no? Um, 
nakakahawa yung takot. Palagi sinasabi, nakakahawa yung takot. Pero mas nakakahawa yung tapang. So, sana yun. In the end, yun yung pagkahawa ng tapang, yun yung pwede nating yun, sama-samang gagawin para harapin these kinds of problems. Katulad ng hinarap ni Bobby at yung lupa niya sa Palawan. Maraming salamat. Kita-kita tayo sa Cinema Lion. We always level up in our lives. Thank you. Thank you, my friend, Bob. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. Thank you. And we'll see you next next week at the Cinema Laya. Pero if you can, like, Bob, if you can, like, watch the other films on Cinema Laya, do so. Well, Kara, will you be watching the other films too? Of course, I'll be there. Yeah, my editor is also competing, so I have to watch. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. And my cousin's so, Bob, film, I'll watch it again. Yes, of course. <laughs> Bob, si Daniel Bert will be there also, but we invite them also in in the other film. So be, please be visible and be kami magagawar just sa yon. Noel, Noel, Para sorry, well, pinapa. Oh, yes, yes, yes. May may iba. Pwede bang bumati? Go, go, go. Kasi makikita to pa ulit ulit. Pwede mong pa ulit ulit. Go game. Okay. Binabati ko si Attorney Hubert Guevara at si Ay, Attorney naman. Ed Martinez. No? Mga si Ed Martinez. People who supported me. Of course, they're also my wife Sheila and my daughter Tara also. And, and yeah. but, uh, but most especially to 4F class ko led by uh, uh, Jojo Manuel and uh, Edwin Yulalia. Thank you for... They, nagbigay sila ng mga sapatos sa mga rangers ko, eh, para enforcers ko eh. Unfortunately, Underhang. don't uh, don't give them shoes na because they don't wear it. Masyadong maganda. They just hang it on their shoulders. <laughs> no, so, so parang kung si Corina, shoes, kung si Corina uh, Chinelas minamimiga, yung batchmates uh, mo sa patos. Ayaw nilang mapa... Mas sobrang ganda. Ayaw nilang ma- maputikan. Thank you, Jojo and Edwin. Ha? For F-Class, mabuhay kayong lahat sa atin. Pero ano na kailangan Thank nila you. na pwede nilang ibigay? Ano na pwedeng i-contribute ng mga klase mo, kaklase mo, panoorin na lang yung pelikula mo? Sure, sure. Okay. So we'll see you on the 13th. Thank you very much. We'll see you at the Cinema Laya. It's saying, no? Breaking through the noise. Kasi sa, sa mundo natin ngayon, ang daming ingay, no? But in the end, dun sa katahimikan tayo, nag, ano, nakakahanap ng pagbubuo. <laughs> Kasi dun naglumilinaw lahat. So thank you, Bob. Breaking through the noise. Ang ganda ng ginawa mo sa buhay mo. You, you saw you saw yung pagbubuo doon sa katahimikan doon sa after after maging maingay. Thank you very much. We thank continue you. to level up. Thank you, thank you. Ang galing niyo. Thank you, Noel. Wag mo na kayo umalis. Mga Kuderos, it's time to level up! Your top variety program showcasing the best in media and other fields as we feature the most loved personalities and the best practices of what we truly refer to as Magis. Together with multi-awarded multimedia guru, Mr. Noel Ferrer, let's all level up every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Yeah.